is a mutant allele dominant or recessive? This would depend on what the effects of the mutation were in a heterozygote, an individual who, say, inherits a normal wild-type allele and a mutant allele. In many cases, such as the genes encoding enzymes, heterozygotes will display a normal wild-type phenotype and thus the mutation is classified as recessive, only affecting phenotype in those who are homozygous for the mutation. This can be because an individual who produces half the normal amount of gene product still has sufficient to achieve the normal phenotype. In enzymes, this is easily explained since enzymes can catalyze such large numbers of chemical reactions. A little enzyme goes a long way and so therefore an individual with at least some wild type alleles which will produce the normal wild type enzyme might catalyze sufficient levels of chemical reactions to achieve the normal phenotype. In contrast, some mutations will affect a cell or an individual even if a wild type allele is present. So for example, in the case of the abnormal proteins which accumulate in plaques inside the brain and cause Alzheimer's. This trait results from abnormally sized peptides being produced which are not subsequently degraded. These then accumulate and are neurotoxic causing the effects of Alzheimer's. Even if an individual has a wild type allele producing wild-type normal peptides, which can be degraded, the presence of the abnormal peptides produced from the abnormal alleles will affect phenotype. So in this case, an individual who is heterozygous, even though a normal allele is present, the abnormal allele, the mutant allele, will nevertheless affect phenotype. In this case, the heterozygote will have the mutant phenotype of a predisposition to Alzheimer's disease, and therefore this mutation will be classified as dominant.